right guys, I'm back out here in my shop and uh, been cutting some uh, some of the smaller parts that I'm going to need for the 4x8 CNC router build that I'm doing. And I just thought while I'm at this, I'll kind of give you Dave's CNC tip of the day. Uh, you know, I, I save, I guess I'm just a cheap son of a gun, but I save a lot of small pieces of, you know, scrap. Like this is a, uh, a piece of plywood that I used the other day. And when I hold it up here, you'll see that uh, this was some stuff that I had cut out the other day when I did the video for uh, making those uh, table saw push blocks. Uh, but even though, I, you know, when you cut out weird shaped uh, parts out of your plywood or boards or whatever, uh, you know, if you've got a big area, you can uh, can save that, and, and I, you know I, you can see I don't even bother cutting it off because I want to leave places where I can clamp and not be anywhere near parts. So all these little parts you see here on this piece of drop, uh, you know, were all done with single part programs instead of trying to program a nest. Uh, you know, obviously when you got a weird shape, you just program each part by itself just a single program and you know how big the blank is that it needs to run that and you can just kind of move your CNC around manually zero it out and get all these parts out of it you know so this is basically just about like free material because otherwise I would have just thrown this away or burn it in my fire pit or whatever so uh, that's that's my tip of the day for uh, for that you know save your save your big pieces of drop even though they're odd shaped and you can still clamp them down on your CNC Okay guys, I thought I'd show you what I got done today. I've been cutting some parts out here today for uh, that 4x8 router. And I've got some stuff kind of, uh, some little sub-assemblies done. This would be, I guess you'd call this the Z-axis uh, carriage assembly. And if you look, uh, you see there's lots of these feed groove bearings on there. What this is going to do is I'm going to have uh, bearings on both the top and bottom of the, both the front and the back of the, uh, the gantry beam. So um, it'll need some extra support because my gantry is going to be really long. Uh, for those of you who may not have looked at that picture close uh, last week when I showed the uh, video, I'm going to run the gantry long ways. Uh, so it'll be over eight foot long. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I think it's very doable. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to do that is because my shop's so small. If I do it, I've got about 130 inches from wall to wall here, and I figure that thing's going to be around 107 inches, give or take. Um, I'm not sure what the exact final number will be. but I, So it should just fit in here. And uh, if I work it out right, uh, it'll be really nice because I really don't use this end of the shop anyway with this one. It's going to stick out about the same as this one. And I've got my uh, vacuum can over there with a shop vac, and I really don't really use that little hole back there for anything. So it'll work out perfect if it will just take up this back end of the uh, of the shop here. And of course, I've got double doors down on that end, so I can easily back my truck right up, bring in full sheets of plywood or MDF, and throw them on here and go. And then I'll probably up above put some uh, lumber storage which I've been uh, in desperate need of I think I got to looking today I think well, once I put the CNC here you got that space up there that's going to be wasted so I think that'd be a great place to uh, drop some things down and just put uh, some lumber rack right there uh, this is my whoops forgot I didn't have those on this is my uh, z-axis you'll notice is probably a little more compact uh, than some of the other ones I've done uh, you know of course I've got the I think you can see that there I've got the pocket for the bearing uh, still going to use the half uh, 10 five start lead screw uh, I'm going to use these um, little spacer blocks to space the motor up and then that way it gives me an entryway there or gives me access to uh, to get the screws on the coupling. Uh, I might even go one more, I don't know, but uh, that's how that's going to work. I uh, haven't got the angles put on here yet, but you can see it's kind of going to do similar to the other one. Uh, 
what will happen here is, like I said, this is very narrow. I don't know if you can see that or not. But what I'm going to do is I will mount a block. I've, you know, I've done all this figured up in the computer. So I can have a block with the Acme nut and it will just clear. So it will be all, all that will be hidden inside here. So I think that'll be a cleaner look and, uh, you know, keep the dust and stuff out of it too. So I think that's going to, going to work well. So anyway, that's about all I have to show you today. I'll probably be back out here again tomorrow, uh, cut some more parts. Maybe do the gantry sides and start doing some sub-assembly on that. Uh, but I did want to tell you, I got uh, my V-Group bearings. These are the same V-Group bearings I used before. And if you're building a CNC and you get ready to use these, uh, go check out my buddy Steve down at Access Bearing. He was uh, kind enough to really hook me up with these. I told him I needed some, some bearings for a new CNC build I was doing, and he... He says, well, how many do you need? And I said, well, I'm going to need about 20. And he really hooked me up because he sent me five tubes of these uh, with eight each in them. So uh, thank you, Steve, down at Access Bearings. I really appreciate it. Uh, and like I said, if you're getting ready to build a CNC, check out, uh, check out Access Bearing. I'll have a link in the description below. And there's also a link on my website, too, so you can uh, find those very easy. Uh, all right, so I guess that's going to do it for this one. I just want to thank all my new subscribers. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already and you want to watch this build, please subscribe and you won't miss a thing. Uh, you can also check out some of the other builds I've done. Uh, you know, I did a, a smaller CNC build last year. Got a multi-part uh, video series of that. So check that out if you haven't already. And again, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.